Los Angeles Clippers, they've sent the former MVP, Russell Westbrook, over to the Denver Nuggets in a three-team deal involving the Utah Jazz. So all you need to know, I'm not about to get into the crazy specifics. All you need to know is Clippers, they landed Chris Dunn. The Jazz, they got a second-round pick with some cash in return. And then the Denver Nuggets, they got Russell Westbrook, which is going to be good for them. However, y'all got to calm down a little bit. Don't expect Russell Westbrook to go over there and be the 2015 MVP like he was. Don't don't expect that type of Russell Westbrook when he goes to the Denver Nuggets. That's not going to happen. So, I mean, it's good. He's going to be a good help. He's going to be a tremendous help. But above all, the core in the Denver Nuggets is obviously Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, and Michael Porter Jr. And then now you even have Aaron Gordon because he's been playing on another level lately. So, I mean, it's going to help bench support-wise having Russ to come off the bench. I'm assuming that that'll probably be the route that he goes is coming off the bench because, I mean, I wouldn't start him over Jamal Murray. I wouldn't dare try and put him in at the two with Jamal Murray. So, I mean, it's going to be good. But the thing here that I really feel he'll have the most impact is kind of being the void filler of Bruce Brown. When the Denver Nuggets had Bruce Brown, we seen he brought energy off the bench. He played defense. He grabbed rebounds. He made good plays. He had to hustle plays. He was clean up, man, to an extent when he was with the Denver Nuggets. And I see Russell Westbrook coming in, kind of playing that same role that Bruce Brown played. Come off the bench, clean up, grab some rebounds, and, you know, pass the ball, make the right passes, uh, penetrate the defense, get to the cup, get the easy buckets. Like, I see Russ playing that same role, and there's no doubt in my mind that he can play that role efficiently. But for anybody who was thinking that he was going to come in and be in a score, oh, yeah, you done lost your mind. What did, what did you think he was going to do? Come in and, and get priority over Jamal Murray or Nikola Jokic? Absolutely not. That's not the way that team is going to be. He's going to impact the game by playing clean up man coming off the bench. It's going to be a huge help. But you got to consider the fact that everybody else in the Western Conference also got a little bit better. You're going to be seeing Anthony Edwards come back in his second deep playoff run coming for a vengeance. Really trying to go on another deep playoff run. Obviously, Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, they grabbed up Klay Thompson, which is going to be a huge help for them. And, I mean, everybody else is making moves in the West. Oh, oh, don't forget, don't forget. The Lakers, they grabbed Bronny Jr. <laughs> they grabbed Bronny. <laughs> no, I'm messing with you. But anyway, everybody has gotten a little bit better in the Western Conference. So, a good move. It's going to help the Denver Nuggets. But above all, it's not going to be that life-changing, you know, move that's going to put them over top to become another finals team or that's going to guarantee them to a finals run. No, that, that work still has to be done. They're going to need some more people to still come in. Hopefully they can continue to keep Kyle Pope. Um, if he's there, I haven't checked the latest of the reports yet for that, but, you know, they're still going to need to keep their pieces um, to help out the big three of Murray, Jokic, uh, and and uh, Michael Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon as well. I guess the four key guys, they're going to need to help them out.